Hello and welcome back. I am Jamie, your Richity Ratchety guide through my very own diary. Now my eyes feel like they're going to start bleeding at any point, maybe because of hay fever. <laughs> I popped a little highlighter. Highlighter. I possibly had a mini stroke as well. Popped a bit of highlighter on there. Tried to make myself feel better. Now I feel shiny. Um, perhaps I need to. It may fit in with me equipment, so to speak. Whilst I'm trying to. Oof. Ow, they're like. Ow. Oh, that's a bit better. Okay, so we left off on February the 2nd, 1997. Um, uh, where I said it's quite a boring day. Uh, episode 5, by the way, welcome back. Um, boring day, Andrew and Lisa not for me, in the evening Andrew is an adorably brilliant, uh, had a little bath, I can't wait to see Laura hopefully returning back to education, I mean, what is this doing? Uh, Monday the 3rd of February, and today I went back to school, Emma was off today, Emma, oh, Emma, Emma, <laughs> Emma. <laughs> um, uh, she was off today. I have a massive spot on my nose. I do have highlighter right now. Um, I had to hand in my English essay today. I love doing an essay. Uh, I have a feeling something's wrong with it. Oh! Uh, Heather can't come swimming with me. Oh, so I'm dreading swimming. Really nervous. Anyway, I'm glad I saw Laura. Apart from that, nothing really happened. It was a sunny day. And I got a magazine. I have a stage which one, but I got a magazine. It's the end of Monday. I feel like I'm going to snot. Sorry. Uh, Tuesday the 4th of February. Today I was really nervous. But Sheila took... Me. Sheila. She was from Newcastle. And she was our French teacher at one point. When our French teacher had a mental breakdown. Yeah. But before that, she was just a teaching assistant that took me swimming. Uh, she took me swimming. I'm so happy. I don't think I'll ever feel nervous about swimming again. Oh, she must have been lovely. Uh, something was wrong with my English. The punctuation was terrible. I felt like crying. That hasn't changed. Uh, it was horrible. Saw Emma, Andrew, and Lisa. Sam still has... Little brother Sam still hasn't gone back to school. Emma says she's going back to school tomorrow. It was rainy and horrible. Uh, oh, Wednesday, February the 5th. I've put big capitals up at the top of the diary. It's three years living in Western, the little village we moved to. Uh, Wednesday, February the 5th. Uh, Steph came to school today. I liked Steph, she was nice. Uh, Mrs May had told her that everyone was saying she had B.O. Steph felt suicidal, so would I. Why was the headmistress telling her that? I don't remember that. Uh, but it was okay in the end. I feel like Laura, I, with a heart next to it now, I are becoming closer in our relationship. <gasps> woo -woo! Uh, I am worried that I won't be able to catch up in geography. Oh. Oh. I'm struggling across the board here, it seems, at the moment. Uh, I hope I can. Mum got me some new pens. Oh, I'm a whore for stationery. Um, Emma was really irritating today. Okay, sass. Um, I just felt like I didn't want to speak to her. Apart from that, nothing happened. Apart from me just not wanting to speak to people, because I'm just afraid shade left, right and centre. Thursday, the February the 6th. Today at school, I made progress with Laura. Oh, what does this mean? She sat on my lap. And we sort of hugged. That sounds so awkward. I'm imagining. Pretend hetero me. Come sit on my lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the boys. Wah, 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 wah. Um, and yeah. Oh, I imagine it was in the break room as well. Where like that was where you would display your courtship uh, oh, oh. and then I put I will kiss her tomorrow I think 
I love her so much. Oh, I've also found out, breaking news, Lisa will be sending me a Valentine's card. That's, oh, I think I do remember that. That's going to throw some, some madness into the mix, I tell you. Some madness. Uh, Emma, oh, Andrew and Emma admitted they love, oh, all in time for Valentine's Day. Emma and Andrew admitted they loved each other, although it still is only February 6th, so still early. Uh, Andrew wants me to go back out with Lisa. Oh, so we can be the foursome we once were. But no, I've put here, I love Laura. So that can't happen. Friday the 7th of February. Uh, at school today, it was my best day. Oh, great, Laura. With a little heart emoji. Let's do emoji, it's a heart. Uh, said, why don't we go outside? But it was raining, so I thought it was strange. Anyway, I went outside and me and Laura hugged and kissed. I can't believe it! We are sending each other's Valentine's cards in April. Well, in April, I will be going to France for three days with the school. <laughs> My first time abroad. Uh, I can't wait. I hope Jodie comes, otherwise I'll be the only boy. Trust, I'm not thinking about this from, I'm positive from male companionship. Maybe I thought I was going to see some cock. That's all I could think. I mean, I didn't find him attractive, but I was a struggling non-professional homosexual then. Um, I can't wait. I hope Jodie comes. Otherwise, I'll be the only boy. I feel like changing my room round tomorrow. I need to change after being ill last week. That's how I end Friday the 7th. Intriguing. Saturday the 8th of February. Uh, today I went to Biggin Hill Library, got some books, got Laura's Valentine's card winning, uh, but it's the wrong type. Oh. Maybe my mum's made me get a knockoff one, actually, maybe she's made me get knockoff kickers. Um, The wrong type. Played out with Emma. Played out, I'm I want to run back in time and tell him to stop saying that for just hang out, hung out outside my house. It's just no pretense to be cool with my own diary to myself. I'm not even trying to lie to myself in the future. This this was it, Han. This is you. Um played out with Emma and my sister babysat Emma and Philip until one thirty AM. What? My what? Played out with Emma and my sister. Oh, my mum must have babysat Emma and Philip, not me and my sister. Weird, kooky. Uh, until 1.30am. Oh, so me and Emma would have stayed up late, like, watching TV and stuff. That would have been fun. Uh, Emma read me her diary. It was quite shocking. <gasps> I'm here I am reading mine. Uh, and not so shocking. She kissed a boy on a holiday in Centre Parks. Fuck. While she was going out with Andrew. Oh, double fuck. I think she was going out with Andrew. Anyway. What? Loretta gave me two pounds. I couldn't believe it. See. I've never been one for money. Money makes life easier. But like. Two pounds. I'm jumping for joy for that. Two pounds. It's 20 grand in today's money. Anyway, on to Sunday, February the 9th. Loretta was Emma's mum, by the way. I just wouldn't say it. She gave me £2. I don't know why. Unless I did babysit Emma and Philip and I got £2. Well, I did babysit my own friends only like a year or so younger than me. And oh, I wasn't more responsible. I was, I was more boring. Um, Sunday, February the 9th. Today I had a lay-in a little while, maybe an hour or two after I woke, Emma knocked for me. Great. Went over her house for a couple of hours, changed my room around, played out for about a quarter of an hour, only 15 in the evening, with Andrew at least. I don't think Emma's too happy with me at the moment because I didn't come out and I didn't invite her in because I was changing my room. Oh, try to have some me time. Uh, room around, she wanted to tell me something. I hope I didn't upset her. It was a little mean of me. It was a little mean of you, you selfish bitch. Selfish James. Monday, February the 10th, racing on. 
Uh, today at school, every I've written in pencil again for Christ's sake, why do I keep doing this? Uh, today at school, everyone seemed stressed out. Dad had to drive Andrew to Gatwick because Des forgot his glasses, so I went along. <laughs> Des was Andrew's dad, by the way. Uh, Des gave me a pound. God, the money's rolling to me at the moment. Uh, Des gave me a pound, bought a magazine. Big love put, I don't know what that means. Apart from that, nothing happened. Oh, and I had a bath. Lovely. Uh, Tuesday, February the 11th, Pancake Day. Uh, learned to play part of Summer Loving at School with Music Club. Oh, I really enjoy swimming now. It's great fun. I still feel like I'm lying to this diary, to myself, to you. Uh, had a pancake with maple syrup. Oh, I love maple syrup. Uh, to Jody offered to finish my English essay off at his house. Why? I said no, though. I wonder why he's being so nice. Yeah, that is strange. Because he wasn't clever. I'm so glad I wasn't stupid enough to let him because I think something would have gone awry there. And to be fair, we've learned that I've written a shit essay a couple of days back in this diary anyway, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, something doesn't feel right between me and Laura I. Oh, but I don't know what. Maybe I'm imagining it. <gasps> oh, no. I don't think I want to go to France. Loretta gave me a pair of swimming goggles. Thanks, Loretta. Handy, I'm sure. Oh, because I was swimming, wasn't I? Yeah. Well, I apparently love it now. Uh, Wednesday, February the 12th. Handed in my history assignment today, Mrs. Allen, old frothy mouth. Uh, but that's mean. I don't know why I did that because she was really lovely. It's just that that always sticks in my head, and, and her niceness should probably stick out in my head more. But oh, uh, really pleased with it. Thank goodness. I spent most of the evening around Andrews with Lisa playing on his computer and stuff. Those were fun times. Andrew had good stuff. I didn't. He did. It was cool playing around his house. Did you really get around to go around his house that much? His mum and dad wouldn't let us in. I don't think just that, but I just don't think they wanted kids. But I can understand that now, being a grown up human. It's annoying. But yeah, so it was always a novelty when I got around his house. Um, Lisa was always allowed around his house. Conspiracy. To get them two together, I always thought this, but now I look back and think, poor Lisa wasn't willing either way with that one. Um, Learn to play Don't Cry For Me Argentina. Love that song. Still love that song. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Truth is, I never left you. All through my wild days, my mad existence. I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. Love that. Sorry for ruining my um, bleeding your ears out. Uh, change my room round again. Put all my new posters up. Laura has... Laryngitis, I think. I think that must be Sister Laura with laryngitis. Other than that, nothing else happened. Oh, sickness around at the moment in the old diary. Uh, Thursday, February the 13th. Not a lot. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Repetez vous. Uh, not a lot has happened today. Mum got Laura I Valentine card for me. Thank you, Pat. I bought her a big bar of chocolate. Do you know why I did that? Because... I thought I was being uber romantic because I read somewhere that chocolate produced the same chemical as love in the brain. And I thought, i to pump that bitch for the chocolate and love. That'll cure. That'll cure the homosexuality. Chocolate. Let's see if it works. Uh, not a lot happened in school today either. I have English homework, geography. I know I will... Mix. Do you know what that means? Oh, miss. 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 I don't read the next sentence. Uh, I will miss Laura over the half term. Oh, Dad will be going to work in the Midlands starting on Monday. He will only be home at the weekends. I know I will miss him loads. Saw Andrew for a little while. Got a mystery Valentine card from someone. I think Lisa. I think Lisa too. I can't remember, but I'm pretty probably certain he's right. Oh, look at this. Friday the 14th, Valentine's Day. Red ink. I am a bitch for theming. 
Uh, Friday February 14th, Valentine's Day, Day of Love. Uh, today was a really good day at school. I got three merits, kissed Laura, got a box of Cadbury's Roses. I fucking love Cadbury's Strawberry all the way. Um, ate a whole tub of those at Christmas. Was going through a very dark place. Still am. But <laughs> was very dark then. And that was a sugary dark day. Um, Cadbury's Roses and a card. She liked my present and card. I think Andrew is a little stressed with me. Stressed with me. I hope not. Mm. Uh, Lisa has started to sort of flirt with me again, but I love Laura. I. And that's it. Lisa knocked for me with her friend Anna. Uh, getting my hair cut tomorrow. Apart from that, nothing happened. Uh, Saturday, February 15th. The start of hard term. Uh, woke up about 10.30am, had my hair cut by Helen's friend, Alison and Marie. Oh, and Maria. Sam had his hair trimmed. Good for Sam. Emma had her hair blonde bits redone. Again, they look all right. Simon's back on the scene. Cash. Uh, Andrew said he smoked last night. <gasps> the smoking begins. Because we had this river that they smoked and then they denied the phrases and then they admitted they smoked and then me and, ended up, me and Emma ended up smoking. And, ah! um, he smoked last night and so did Lisa. <gasps> um, Andrew showed me the cigarette packet. It still had loads in. I couldn't believe it because I would write posters saying, because my mum and dad smoked, and I'd put posters up around the house saying, you're going to die. It's because you're smoking, you're going to leave me about mum and dad and you're selfish. To later on, I mean, plot twist, spoiler alert. Maybe I do, maybe I don't start smoking. But at the moment, I'm disgusted and I don't. I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. Apart from that, nothing happened. So we'll flip on to Sunday the 16th and end it there because we've got half term week, so we'll do that in a separate video. Half term bonanza! Um, February 16th, Sunday today, Emma knocked and asked if I wanted to go to Badminton with her. Loved, I was a fiend for Badminton, loved it. But I was in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so I was having a shit, so uh, mum said, tell her the answer later. <laughs> I couldn't shit and think whether I wanted to play Badminton or not. Uh, hung out with Andrew and Emma all afternoon, saw Lisa for a little while, I think I just dug my eye out there, sorry kids, in the afternoon, when I saw her in the evening, she seemed stressed, everyone's fucking stressed, she seemed stressed for some reason, I think Andrew and Emma will end up going out, tension in the air, uh, we're going to end up going out to go soon, I watched a film called My Life About a Man with Cancer, it really made me cry, Good to know I've got thoughts and emotions. Um, so that wraps up February the 16th, Sunday, and we will be fluttering on to Monday the 17th, half term Bonanza week, and see what some stuff happens. So we're gonna we're gonna be there soon with next video ep six, half term bonanza. Can't wait to see you there. Hope you've had fun and not thrown up in your mouth and yeah, don't get coronavirus. Wash your hands, stay safe, stay home, protect the NHS. <laughs> And I will see you soon. Bye.